the very name of our movement is called as pyramid spiritual societies movement so the the first thing is pyramid what is a pyramid a pyramid is nothing but a specific geometrical structure what is a cube what is a rectangle what is a square what is a globe okay what is a sphere what is a prism what is a hexagon okay they are all different geometrical perspectives geometrical shapes okay geometrical creations now all energy you know keeps on is all dynamic energy is never static and everything is energy yes or no everything is energy and energy is never static it's always flowing in different fire different directions in different ways so we many people have found that the geometry of materials affects the energy dynamics of the whole okay so it has also been found out by so many experimentation by so many spiritual scientists over so many eternities okay that the pyramid shape has the most beneficial effect on the dynamism of energies so the energies don't get dissipated easily in a pyramid structure where the angle is in accordance with the earth gravitational system so for our earth the right angle for the pyramids is the 51 degrees 52 minutes for the earth okay so different us uh, different planets will have different angles okay if you go to many parts of the galaxy you will find pyramids everywhere but depends in angles never the less pyramids then and there will be also a difference in materials out of which they are made so having discovered this having rediscovered this in my life somebody has written a book on this so i read that book and i for i found the same results as i been written that science somebody in europe made a small pyramid and put some vegetable 50 years back 60 years back and that vegetable stayed fresh for many days so then i also made a small pyramid and put one vegetable one fruit that also stayed fresh so this is science replicability so the benefits of the pyramid energy have been replicated mm. throughout eternity and uh, people have been benefited that's why millennia before the pyramids have come to the earth as gifts by the spiritual scientists of the galaxies earth is a small colony colonized by galactic civilizations since time immemorial okay like in bangalore city you will find people from all over india and all over the world yes sir no? some french people are also right now here in bangalore city so bangalore city is for everybody so earth is for everybody so so many galaxies people will come so many dimensions and so many galaxies people will come and populate the earth and so is every city in the world in you are going to find people who are indians yes sir chinese in china you find french people indian everywhere there are everywhere all types of people so it's a free world earth is also a small colony which is being populated with so many star systems galactic systems dynamic dimension systems and all of them brought their best in the technologies to earth okay and one of those best possible things is the pyramid is that's why what you see in cairo egypt giza pyramids they are the perfect models of pyramid energy the pyramids are the most stable structures 
Okay. You see any other structure you can easily destabilize them. But not a pyramid. A pyramid depends spiritual size. You know. A temple or a mosque or a church or anything for the they are different religions. But a pyramid depends spiritual size. Since we are teachers of spiritual science, we want spiritual science, we know the truth. So the pyramid is obviously our symbol. That's why we have built any number of pyramids in India. And the same thing, what is good for India is good for any other country. What is good for China is good for India. What is bad for China is of course bad for India. So, the, somebody has found pyramid energy as good. I discovered it. In my country, it is good for me also. And what is good for me is also good for you. So, the pyramid energies are very, very mysterious energies. In as much as we have not grown to that kind of spiritual science level, when your spiritual, when your science falls short, then what you discover is, is mystery. When you when you jack up your science, then the mystery becomes a normal affair. So to understand any mystery, you have to jack up your science. The main way to jack up your science is meditation. Since I came into meditation earlier, I could easily understand pyramid energy. So, if you do meditation inside a pyramid, your meditation becomes thrice more powerful. If you sleep inside a pyramid, your sleep is also thrice more powerful. Supposing I need six hours of sleep, <coughs> after 24 hours of fatigue in the morning, normally, then if I sleep inside a pyramid, I don't require six hours, I require only two hours. Because of the high energy available in the pyramid, Two hours of sleep is equal to non-pyramid six hours of sleep. Okay. Same thing is meditation. I'll give you one example from right four in Chhattisgarh. Okay. There's a big institute of engineering there. Okay. By one of our uh, masters of the pyramid schools was in Bombay, Mr. Sharon Jain. It's a big engineering college, polytechnic college. Many students and teachers are very big institution. What is the name of the institution? RIT. RIT. Raipur Institute of Technology. Right? Yeah. Now what happened? The principal is there. His main chair is there, his office is there. Okay. Now this man has put the pyramids above his head. Okay. Everything is normal. The principal got transferred. Some new men came into his head from Andhra Pradesh. Now, he was very happy. Everything was good. But after one month, his table has been changed to a better room for this new principal. Okay. But when he, went, when he changed the room, when he got his new chair and new table, he could not work. Suddenly he could not work. He said, why am I not able to concentrate on my work? Okay, he said, okay, today, some tomorrow. After three days, four days, five days, the same thing happened. Then he found out that in his earlier chair, there was a pyramid. <laughs> now, this man does not know about pyramids. Although he came from Andhra Pradesh, went to Andhra Pradesh to Raipur, he does not know about pyramids. He, he doesn't know about meditation or pyramid special mode. Yeah? Then, he says, what is the answer? Why am I not able to work? Then somebody said, maybe perhaps all the pyramid is this. Then he said, okay, I can go back. Then he was happy to work. <laughs> See? So, by default, he came to know about the energies of the pyramid. By default. Science is not, science does not ask you to believe anything, nor 
it will agree with you if it disbelieves. You understand? Science expects you to experiment. Okay? Polite experiences. Gather experiences. And in spite of a Himalayan experiment, experiment, don't conclude either this way or that way. Still go. That is scientific temper. So, if you are constructing a pyramid on a permanent basis, then the pyramid has to be aligned towards the north and south of the magnetic, north and magnetic south. And the angle should be as close as possible to that. Actual uh, uh, angle. Then the school boy can prepare a small pyramid. It is very easy to prepare a pyramid. It is a square base with the four walls touching each other. Okay. And the angle of the pyramid. So, any material is fine. The small difference will be there between materials and the effects, but that is not significant. Okay. Sir, one question. Is there any difference of small pyramid big pyramid? Small pyramid is enough to kill this man. Okay. I don't require a 2 kilometers lengthy sword to kill man. No. That went only kills him. So, Small pyramid gives you all the others. We require big pyramids so that so many people can sit inside the pyramid. That's why we require big pyramids. Okay. But the energy is the same. Okay. With one bullet I can kill this man. But if I want to kill so many people at once at that, we will require machine guns. <laughs> so to seat so many people for group meditation, we require big pyramids. Not that the big pyramid will have a greater effect. It's not like that. You have a small pyramid built for yourself. It has the same effect as the biggest pyramid. Please make your own pyramids and start experiments. That's a scientist. Okay. Don't believe, don't disbelieve. Okay. Don't say no, yes, no or yes automatically without thinking, without applying your brain, without investing your time and energies. But you must invest your time you to know any fact. It's a common to all. The first pyramid meditation pyramid was built in Kalnoon, a district headquarters town, 20 years back, 22 years back. We have been to Kalnoon. Okay. So that was the first meditation pyramid and since then thousands of pyramids have come all over India, especially South India. And by 2016 the whole world will rep will follow this case. Okay. So I hope that the So we are planning, we are we are we would see together a great pyramid jagat by the year 2016. Thank you.